Hi Highlands, my name is Susie Lutz. I'm one of the leaders in the women's ministry. My other name is Joy, at least at Starbucks or takeout restaurants nowadays. Why did I get that name? Well, at first, it was because it was pretty hard to misspell. But over time, I found that that name I wanted to use to reflect one of the attributes of God's character. Joy to me means soul contentment. My soul, my inner sense of well-being, finds contentment not in what I can see or experience, but in the assurances of who God is and what He says. Psalm 1611 has been really, um, really impactful to me these last few weeks. It reads, You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. I'm sure like me, you've been outside a ton. Aren't you thankful for Arizona weather? And I'm sure, like me, you've been doing a lot of reading, a new devotional or Bible study, or perhaps that novel that you left on the, on the shelf a while. Maybe you've been playing games or surfing channels or even doing some hiking. But I know for me, when I found those activities that made me focus more on God, that's when my soul found contentment. Another passage of scripture that speaks about joy is Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. You see, to me, joy and hope go hand in hand. I'm reminded of the account of the disciples walking along the road after Christ's crucifixion. Picture their emotion with me. They were lonely. They were feeling so lost and discouraged, out of control even. Does that sound familiar? But Jesus appeared, gave them his presence. Can you imagine their joy? That tells me that their joy was connecting with the hope that they found in Christ's presence. Something else I noted was that the disciples were not alone. They were staying connected with one another. Our family just had a brand new grandbaby. And as you can understand, being with this new grandchild is quite different from being with the other grandkids. So between Zoom and FaceTime and video texts and baking treats to leave at their doorstep, I have determined it's imperative that we stay connected with them during this season. I'm not going to lie. At first, I didn't handle this social isolation very well. But I can tell you today, I have found you can have joy in this day that the Lord has made by being in His presence, no matter the circumstance. Oh, Highlands, seek His presence and may the fullness of His joy be in you.